Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. I'm reporting to you from I-5, less than 200 miles away from Los Angeles. I'm going there to report on how Newsom runs the state. Would he be a good president or not? Me? I think he's going to be horrible, and I got to show you why, so I'll show you late. But ladies and gentlemen, do you remember, do you remember the January 6th committee? Uh, Alisa, uh, Lisa Hutchinson. Everyone remembers her. Oh, come on, stop beeping. Everyone remembers her. She's the one that testified before the January 6th sham on committee that Trump, while he was in his motorcade, jumped on his secret service and said, take me back now and grab the steering wheel, remember? And then Liz Cheney went all over the news, all over the media and said, Trump is a crazy guy who tried to uh, take over the car. Well, guess what? The Secret Service agents that were Trump's drivers in January 6th and that were with him all day testified before Congress this morning and said that is a lie. That never happened. And the January 6th committee lied. Hutchinson lied. Liz Cheney lied. The Gateway Pundit reported on it. Trending Politics News reported on it. And if you go on to Trump's Truth Social, he made huge posts thanking Speaker Mike Johnson and the Republicans in the House for getting down to the bottom of what really happened. Where do the lies of the Democrats end? Where do the lies of the, of the far left extremists end? Russia, Russia, Russia never happened. January 6th was an insurrection, but no one got charged with an insurrection. They tried to take Trump off the ballot. He's winning. It don't matter. Even, even now, the, the Secret Service agents testified under oath. A few of them and all of them had the same story. That never happened. Trump never yelled. Trump never grabbed the steering wheel. He never said, take me back to the Capitol. But are the Democrats going to apologize? Probably not. They're far left extremists. They're communists. They're radicals. And radicals don't lie. They just double down on their lies. But it's going to be interesting to see how they react to this. Ladies and gentlemen, MAGA movement is growing. We are winning. We're about to take back the White House. We're about to take back the Senate. We're about to get a humongous majority in, in Congress. But most importantly, we're about to win locally. Because, you know, I believe if we want to take back our country, we do it locally. Local elections, local precincts, school boards, judges, secretaries of state. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share it with your friend. Trump 2024 or sooner.